Well, hello, 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 and happy holidays from my home to yours. I hope you are having fun this holiday season, and I know we're gonna have, be having fun today on set as we are filming a holiday wreath platter today so that you can surprise your guests with that or bring it over as a hostess gift. So I'm very excited to share some of the specialty tips with you. Just really cool, fun stuff to make this platter look absolutely amazing. So one of the big questions that I get frequently is, well, how do I know how much stuff to put on the platter? Well, the way that I do it is, as a chef, is I always try to think that everybody just kind of like gets a bite of everything, right? So I have this round platter that we're gonna be working with today. So it's about this big, right? And what I have done is I just kind of laid everything out and around. But the one way that you can see how many veggies and stuff to put, and it makes for super easy cleanup, is as you wash all of your berries or whatever veggies that, and fresh herbs that you're gonna be using on your platter, just put them on a cookie sheet. And this way it all stays in one place, you know it's all clean, and we are ready to do this. We are going to switch the camera angle to show it from the top down so that you'll be able to see exactly how step-by-step step to put together this gorgeous holiday wreath platter. So we start this platter with putting a glass dish with our dip right in the center. I just use a regular ranch dip. So the way that we're gonna build this is around the dip, we are going to place some cheese and some crackers. So just kind of this way, I have some beautiful cheddar and some manchego right there. We're gonna make these little triangle fans. And whenever you are thinking about creating the platter, try to create variety of flavors and textures and cuts. Think about cutting things in different ways. All right, now we take these, I like these flatbread crackers. So we're just going to break them in some fun shapes. It doesn't matter, they don't have to be perfect so that we can enter it here. So what we're doing here is we are framing the platter for the actual wreath portion that, that's gonna come around. So all the color is gonna be on the outer edges of this platter. Some of these crackers and then we can put on a few of these as well. Little wafer crackers, I like those. Okay, so that feels pretty good, right? And now we're going to start working on that outer edge, and then we're going to come back in with berries and fill that in. So for the outer edge, we're gonna start with a layer of super pretty arugula. So this will, will create the, the beautiful green backdrop for our veggies. Very nice. So we finished this arugula backdrop and now being that it's a holiday wreath, I really love to use rosemary because it smells amazing and then it just kind of gives us the feeling of there's a little pine tree ferns. It's so pretty. I'm just laying them. So we are creating the backdrop for all the veggies to go on to. Okay. So we're gonna lay them all around like so. And it's okay if the edges stick out a little bit. I would feel completely 
great about it and not panicky at all. Whenever I teach classes about creating platters, I always say, don't worry, it is not about perfection. This is artistry. So we're gonna take some of these red peppers and we're gonna start kind of building in the round. So we'll do the red peppers here. And we're going to do some green peppers around here. So if you could guess, the center of this platter is all white, just kind of visually to create the feeling of a you know, little emptiness, little white backdrop. And then the rest of this is going to be all vibrant greens and reds. So we have some broccoli coming here. Just kind of place that all around. And then you'll see how we're going to bring this whole look and feel together. Okay, so a couple more broccoli pieces. And then we're gonna put a few radishes. In some of the radishes, you know, when it, sometimes you buy really pretty radishes with this little ends attached. So I like that look and it just gives like a little bit of a pop of color. And I like the look of the tail on here as well. Now we have some cucumbers that we can kind of place around. Okay. See, it's already starting to look so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. Do you love it? I love it. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. I think your guests and your friends will absolutely love this. And then we're going to bring in some tomatoes in here. Well, we have one escaping, no escaping. <laughs> okay, you see, that's why we did the arugula on the bottom so that it already created an automatic backdrop for us, right? So now we're just kind of starting to see where things need to be filled in with certain pops of color, right? And we're not too worried about this section just yet because I'm going to bring in some berries as well to fill this, okay? So let's just see where we can put a few more tomatoes in here. For the veggie section, okay, maybe not here because it's too close to the other stuff. And that's what we do, we just kind of look, try as much as you can, kind of get on your tippy toes and you see the camera shows it top down. So what I'm trying to do is really get on my tippy toes and just kind of see what needs to get filled with what color. So I'm really liking the look of this. This is really coming together beautifully. So what I would like to do is I really like to use berries with my cheese. So I'm gonna start bringing in a few strawberries right here and a few grapes as well, right next to close to this cheese. Okay, and it'll create the very nice transition. Um, between the veggies and the cheese with a few strawberries and some grapes. I'll bring in some grapes as well. So I'm gonna bring some grapes like so. So as you see, the more we fill it in, the better it's starting to look. So it's starting to look super full and super abundant because we are going for total abundance because that's you know during the holidays we want to have that feeling of life is great and everything is good and it's such a happy time to spend with your family and friends and things are good um so what i like to do with grapes as you can see is i slice i take the scissors 
and I cut them with um, scissors into these little bunches. It creates little bunches. All right. So I'm going to get on my tippy toes here and kind of see. I hope you're not seeing the top of my head there in the shot. <laughs> So I like to add the element of surprise to my platters usually. So what I have here are yogurt covered almonds that we can sprinkle on top here. So you see this cheese fell down. We just kind of lift, lift it up here. And we're gonna sprinkle some of these almonds over. And then another little surprise that I have are these peppermint puffs. So they're white and red and I just like that surprise element that they're going to bring in and, and the pop of color. Okay, so we sort of, you know, um, adjusting things as we're going along here, seeing what needs to get filled. I do we like that one. Um, I have some raspberries that we can put around here as well. Just like so. And now let's go back and look at our veggies and see if anything needs filling in. So I'm seeing a little bit of an empty spot right here. And right here. And let's see what else. So you see, as you're going around, you're really starting to see the placement of everything. How does it look? Do I need to make adjustments anywhere? Do I need to add something here that's a vegetable or a berry? But um, let's see, I think it's starting to look, really come together nicely. What do you guys think? I really hope that you're following along and you're starting to see that this is, a lot easier than, than you think. I teach these classes all the time and it is amazing for, for people to see the progress and how easy this is to put together. I know I have an entire masterclass on how to put together these platters. I will put the link below on how you can get to that, but it is, it's just, I don't know, it takes so much joy in creating these. And for you probably to show up at your friend's house or have people come over and for you to be able to serve platters like this, it's probably pretty, pretty darn cool, right? So we add in some, a little bit of parsley here just to add a little bit more greenery. And then I was gonna show you one more trick all right, guys, I wanted to show you a trick to make cucumber ribbons. So I have an, just the regular vegetable peeler and I have the large English cucumber. So I set the cucumber on the counter and then just put in a little pressure. We end up with these ribbons. And what we do is we're just gonna twirl it and we create these ribbons to put onto the platter. Doesn't that look so cute? I love it. Okay, let's make a few more. So those are our cucumber ribbons. And now that we have done those, we can just kind of come back and see if we want to add a little bit more or not. You know, this is kind of a trial and an error. So we just realized that I covered up my pretty radish, which I don't want to do. So now we're just 
going in without trying to destroy the platter <laughs> and adding in a few final, final touches and do a little bit of cleanup. So if I could give you a piece of advice at this point is to take your phone, put it in camera mode, and then come and take a picture and then look at the picture and actually see, does everything look balanced? Do we need to change anything? Do we need to add anything? Or does it look good? I am actually super happy with this. Uh, I think that this broccoli is sticking out a little bit too far. So, but other than that, now that we fixed the broccoli, I am going to look. You know what? I'm noticing that there is a spot right here that does not look filled. That's why we take the photo. All right. Now we can maybe put another even radish in here like that. And this spot right here. Okay, then we can put a tomato in here like that. Okay, so now that we made some more adjustments, I'm coming back in to take a top down shot. Let's see. All right, it all looks beautiful. It all looks balanced. And we finished our platter. So voila, this is our final platter. I don't want to tilt it too much because we don't want to have the spillage of the dressing, the dip in the middle. I had so much fun creating this today with you. I hope that you will follow in step by step. I really hope that you're going to make something like this similar. Please comment below or some of your thoughts, ideas. If you love to follow along with well, I create these potty platters. I'll be making more next year. I'm wishing lots of love and joy to you, to you and your families and your friends during this holiday time. And I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life. Please give the channel some love, likes, and subscribe. There's going to be so much more exciting content coming for you in 2020. There's going to be fun, fun surprises. So make sure to stay tuned. That's it for now.